welcome to the warm up. Today we are in Anna to talk with the Rockets. I'm Mark Kuntz. Matt Finkel will join us momentarily, but right now we're talking with Anna head coach Brian Reock. And coach, coming off of a, a somewhat disappointing four and six campaign from last year, I'd say. Yeah, it's not okay to be four and six. In fact, we've been five. We've been five hundred the last three years, being six and four, five and five, and four and six. And our seniors have done a really good job this off season of, of making that their mantra. It's not okay to be average, and it's not okay to be mediocre. So, you know, they've had a really nice focus this off season in terms of getting better physically. What have they done to to, to make sure that okay is an average? Just their attitude and their effort and their attention to detail, working really hard, holding everybody accountable, holding each other accountable. You look at uh, what you've got coming back this season. Uh, quite a bit of talent coming back. Uh, yeah, we've got five kids that, that started as sophomores two years ago, and, and those are kind of our nucleus of, of guys that we're rallying around. And we've got a lot of talent. And In fact, uh, this is the most players we've had on the team. We've got 88. We feel comfortable that we can platoon. In fact, we're platooning in practice. So at this point, uh, you know, we're going to have 22 different starters on both sides of the ball. Having 88 guys, that's got to be a luxury for you at this point. Yeah, it's great. And, you know, with the grind of the MAC, you know, injuries are going to be an issue, and we feel like we've got depth at all positions. What do you think the strength of this year's team is going to be? Uh, a lot of things, experience, speed, strength, size. You know, we've got a lot of veteran leadership, so uh, I think you can point to all those things. A couple of weeks for the opener at Lamb and Catholic, what, what do you need to work on the most? Uh, our pass defense, they got a lot of nice skilled kids coming back. Their quarterback had a nice year, so I'm, I'm concerned about defending their spread offense. Um, and then on the flip side of that, offensively, we need to establish a run. And then as always, we need to, to, to take advantage of things on special teams. How did the offseason go for the Rocket program? It was great. Probably our best ever. You know, we keep uh, statistics on our, on our strength levels throughout the course of the season. We have pound clubs on our wall, and this is the – uh, the most pound club kids we have on the wall since we started the program. You guys have been in the MAC for what I think eight years since now. Since 2005. Yeah, so so going into the ninth season in the MAC, is, is it a good fit? Are you happy with uh, where you are? I mean, obviously you look around. There's not a whole lot of other places you could be. Start start off gangbusters in the league, but as we've talked about the last couple of years, you you kind of slid in the middle of the pack. It's a good fit, and, and even the last couple of years, there you can point to three or four games where there's one possession or one turnover in a game where you flip it around. We've won three or four games that, that we lost, but it's a good fit. The community's a good fit. I think all our community with uh, with Marion and uh, St. Henry and Versailles and some of those other communities, very similar. Um, big Catholic population, uh, uh, a lot of a lot of the same last names in our community as mm -hmm. in their community. Um, in terms of the programs, they've got lots of numbers. We've got a lot of numbers. We're able to play both JV, freshman, and varsity schedule, where in the leagues that we were in before, it really didn't work out that way. Could you ever envision Anna going into the MAC full time? Yeah, I mean, it was a big thing for us. We felt like when we were in the CCC, um, we were playing good teams, but we weren't. We didn't feel like we were competitive enough. It took us a half to catch up uh, in our playoff games. We felt like if we wanted to be successful in the playoff and win a state championship, which ultimately that's our goal that to do that we need to get in the MAC because obviously they've proven it with 30 state championships that once you get in you got you're good enough to beat anybody. But I mean could you see the rest of the Anna sports programs going into the MAC at any time? <laughs> that that's my push. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I I think we should be in it in everything, you know, the track and baseball, they 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 have a success in everything. So if I was a czar of anything sports Anna, we would be in the MAC and everything. A couple of scrimmages coming up, uh, what do you want to see accomplished in the, in those scrimmages? Uh, I, I want to see us playing fast as we possibly can. I want to see how physical we can be. Uh, I want to be able to run the ball, and I want to stop the run. What uh, what was conditioning like for you guys this year? Uh, <laughs> if you ask the players, they think it was the worst thing in their <laughs> life, uh, which may or may not be. But uh, our kids have worked hard at it. Uh, we, we've had beautiful weather, so it hadn't been super hot or super humid. But our kids have had a, a, a nice preseason, eight two days at this point, where, where they're working pretty hard. And we always pride ourselves in, in and trying to work as hard as anybody, if not outwork people in conditioning. And, and we put a lot of time and effort into our conditioning program. Speaking of the weather, it's been pretty much a, a mild summer. Is there part of you that wishes you had some hotter days just to kind of get some, some sweat out yep. of these kids? I'm always, I'm always concerned as a coach that you have those two days that are, that are mild and you have the first game, especially since we're going to be on Sydney on the turf. And it's going to be 90 degrees that day and 115 degrees on the turf and, and conditioning. And uh, hydration become a factor. So, yeah, that concerns me. Looking at the schedule, then week two, home opener against Brookville. What, what does Brookville bring to your schedule? They're going to be physical run the ball. We, you know, we don't like to look ahead, and we've got our hands full with Lehman at this point, but I know our kids are, are, are not looking ahead, but they're ready to play Brookville and uh, redeem that loss from last year. Looking at the MAC this year, 
two-time defending champion Coldwater, three-time defending champion Marion Local. Is it their league to lose, or is there going to be other teams, yourself included, that are going to be able to push them and, and win a MAC title this year? I know this is going to seem trite and it's going to seem like coach speak, but we're just going to try to go 1-0 uh, every week, and we'll concentrate on the team ahead of us. But uh, we feel like we have enough talent to play with anybody. What, uh, what do you like about the, the chemistry of this team? It seems like you got a good group of kids, as you normally do, a loose group. And But do, do, do they know how to get the work done? Or are they working hard and having fun when they need to have fun? Yeah, I think they're doing a good job. I think they're a lot more mature than last year. And uh, we'll find out tomorrow. Uh, we have not hit big in practice. I'm a little concerned that with the size and the speed of the, of the kids that we had, that we hit a lot, that we're going to injure ourselves. So, you know, we script about five to ten plays a day where we hit, and our, our logic is going to be we're going, I'm going to cut them loose when we go to hit a wrong cover dude. What are the lines looking like this year? Well, I think we're, we're big and aggressive and physical up front on both sides of the ball. All right, we're going to take a break here on the warm-up. When we come back, Matt Finkel will sit down with some of the Anna Rockets here in W. Welcome back to the warm-up here in Anna, joined now by two Rocket seniors. To my right, it's Christian Williams, who plays running back, and on the end, it's Wesley Showalter, middle linebacker, tight end. Wesley, you got the captain's hat on. Does that make you a captain of this team? Well, no, it doesn't. Well, Matt, that's a great question. It is. Uh, I'm going to try to lead this team and uh, be the best we can be this year. And Christian, you got the sheriff's hat on. Did you keep the seniors in line? There's 24 of you I'm on this team. I'm a sheriff around here, a leader. What do you think Coach would say about that? He, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't agree with that, actually. Probably wouldn't talk to him. Yeah. yeah. So you guys have 24 seniors, 88 guys. I think all of them were hanging here watching Coach's interview. Is it nice to have that much depth? Uh, I'll go ahead and take this one. Um, yeah, it is nice because uh, some of us get hurt or something. You know, we always have a backup. You know, I think that's nice. And, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's very nice. Christian, what can we expect out of the backfield? Well, Matt, me, myself, I feel like I'm a – pretty pretty good running back um matthew bruce is is pretty fast um connor's pretty good so we got some good running backs good depth real nice hunk of meat back there hunk of meat back there wesley what do you uh like about playing in the mac and and having such great competition week after week yeah mac's great uh conference uh you get the best every week uh it's a great con conference i guess Christian, Coldwater Marion Local back-to-back -back weeks five and six, both state champs. Coach won't let you look ahead, doesn't sound like, but you've got to be thinking about those two games. Definitely looking ahead. No, no, I'm not, but <laughs> that, that sounded bad. I don't, <laughs> I don't mean it like that, but I'm just, uh, I feel like we can compete with them. They're always and, in the uh, back of our heads. Yeah. You know, they're right They're there. the best teams in the MAC, and obviously we want to beat them to be the best. you got to beat the best. You can see Anna take on Marion Local in week six on WOSN. Wesley, the conditioning sounds like it's a point of point of contention for coach. Sounds like you guys are really getting after it. What's it been like uh, so far here in camp and, and during the summer as well? Oh, uh, well, it's, the weather's nice, I guess, but uh, we still go hard. Um, I think he's trying to get us ready for that turf. It's always hot on that, on the turf or whatever, but uh, yeah, conditioning sucks like usual. And conditioning's not that bad, honestly, but. <laughs> you disagree? Yeah, it's, conditioning's it's not that bad? Yeah, I'm, I'm an in-shape person. I like to run. Christian, what are you looking forward to about the opener against uh, Sydney Lehman? To well, watch me. Um, I like football. and uh, I also do, too. I love football. <laughs> well, that's good, because you guys are on the football team, so you're, yeah. at least you're in the right place. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Wesley, what are some of the... You guys are professional talk show guests, let me tell you. What are some of the lessons you've learned here in camp and... You're a senior. You know this is your last chance in the green and white. Right. Uh, no, I think he uh, he's getting ready for, uh, I guess, being a man, he calls it. Uh, always being on time and just getting ready for things. So, yeah, I think that's what I hope. On. Best of luck this season. Thanks for sitting down with us. Time for a break on the warm-up. When we come back, you, more man. with the Anna Rocket players. Third and final down here on the warm-up from Anna. Two more seniors joining me. Chan Chandler Cotterman on my right, offensive guard, defensive end, and Sean Wenrick on the end. Kicker, right tackle, nose tackle, world's greatest dad also. 
So you guys both on the line. Let's start with the line. Chandler, what can we expect in the trenches this year out of Anna? The line is honestly looking great this year. We, we, we've switched some things up, and uh, I moved to guard. We had some other guys move to tackle, and it's, it's looking real nice. Sean, what do you think about kicking and being on the line? Is that, uh, first of all, do you wear two different cleats? Uh, yeah, I change, I, I change into like a boot type when I kick. But You do it quickly enough not to get a delay of a game? Uh, He's pretty every fast. Once, every once in a while, I'll get a delay, but... What can we expect on the uh, defensive line? Uh, defensive line is looking really good. I think our def defense as a whole is, is incredible. And, uh, I mean, I, I feel like we, we've really really getting off the ball, and it's going to look good this year, I think. Chandler, looking back on last year, you guys lost four in a row in the middle of the season, but you finished pretty strong, 2-1 and one and, and a close loss to Marion in there. Was there a change of mindset after that four-game losing streak? Well, honestly, I just think we were tired of losing. And, you know, um, we had a lot of close games last year, a lot of, you know, like what-if games. And, you know, this year it's going to be a whole other story. And uh, I think we're going to be a team to, you know, really watch. Sean, coach is really stressing making – average not good enough you guys have to be better than average this year and what are some of the ways that you've seen that come through here in camp uh just just little little things like the drills and everything we're, we're running running not just to the line we're running past the line and i mean everything just just amped up this year Jeremy, what do you like about playing on a team with 24 seniors? Is there a, a distinct leader, or is it a kind of a group effort? You know, it, it's not just one of us. It's all 24 of us, and, you know, everybody. It, it's great having a team where there's so many kids that, you know, go out because that shows, you know, how much our community, you know, how we are and how much we love football, and it's, it, it's, it's a great feeling. Yeah, I cut Christian off before, but he was trying to shout out the Anna fans. What's the atmosphere going to be here like on Friday nights, Sean? Oh, I think it's. I think the the house is gonna be packed every Friday. I mean, we're, we have a, we have a tremendous. Uh, I mean, stands and fan base. It's, fan it's base. great. It's, it's inc yeah. <laughs> Playing in the I mean, Mac does that. Oh, people yeah. care I mean, down here, right? Both sides. Both sides are full. The atmosphere is. Inc I mean, it's incredible. It's bumping. It's bumping. It's, it's great. gonna be bumping. Oh, I love it. I asked the other guys too. So you have Coldwater Marion local back to back. Is there a particular MAC opponent that you always have circled, and especially when you play two teams like that in back-to-back -back weeks? You know, it's not really a, a particular one of them, but you know, it, it's definitely going to be a challenge for us. But you know, I think you know it's really going to show you know how far we've came along. I think we're going to surprise some people this year for sure. Sean, you looking forward to your first scrimmage? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Tomorrow first scrimmage. I mean. I can't think. I mean, any really better way? Yeah. <laughs> and you're looking forward to hitting someone. Oh, yeah. You guys must be beating oh, each yeah. other up on the line, and then now I, you'll finally get to go against somebody else. That's got to be exciting. Oh, yeah. definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. What are you looking forward to out of the opener? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited, you know, to get after somebody else besides our own team. You know, we've, we've kind of toned it back a little bit this year in practice, just because of, you know, the, the, the type of players we have. You know, just trying to, you know, not have in, you know, early injuries and stuff. You know, so it, it's, it's going to be fun to be able to hit someone else that's not on our own team for sure. Well, best of luck this season. Thanks for stopping by to chat with us. Thank you. That does it on this edition of the warm up from Anna. Thanks to all of our guests. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSN.